Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on Shiny Apps and in this tutorial we will see how to create and use the slider import widget in Shiny. So let's get started. Before we start creating the, um, the file uh, ui.r and server.r let's go ahead and see the example of slider import so we have a good idea of what we are talking about. So first thing I will load the shiny package so that I can use the functions uh, or features available um, in that package. Okay then run. let's run some example and, and this is the one which is going to help us and let's use this as an example okay so we see here uh, the sliders and this is what basically um, uh, we are talking about these are sliders or, or called slider input widget in shiny and a simple example is the first one where uh, we give the range the minimum the maximum value and the default value where we want the uh, slider pointer to be and as we can choose the value we want using this slider and if you see in the in the main panel um, against this integer we can see that the value is changing real time the second slider exam is an example of uh, decimal points so if you see when we are changing the values it's shifting there there um, there is a step value given and based on that step value it is uh, changing the um, values we also have an example of range uh, where we we select the range rather than a particular uh, numerical value we can also select the range then we also have um, something called um, animation and so we can we can art it's it's like pre uh, pre decided value so we we want the uh, slider to take some predefined values not not a user input but it should run on its own that is where this animation helps so this was just an example uh, we are not exactly going to make all of them i would strongly recommend that after this video tutorial you try um yeah, hands on on this and there is code available here which you can also walk through after the tutorial to better understand it and, and play with play around with it but for now the purpose of this video is to understand how to create and use the these uh, slider input widgets let's get started Okay, so we are in R Studio, and we will start creating the UI.R file. And I will just remove all these things from here. We have library shiny, and we start with our basic skeleton structure for UI.R shiny UI. Within shiny UI, we have fluid page. Within fluid page, we will have the title panel and then we have sidebar layout and within sidebar layout we ha again have sidebar panel and the main panel okay so we'll start off with this basic structure and um, keep modifying it um, Let's also go ahead and start um, create the um, server dot r script. So once again, library shiny, and then we will have shiny server. Within shiny server, we will have the function, which will have two arguments: the input and the output. And here is the body of the function. And for now, we will uh, leave the uh, shiny server function as empty. We are not making any 
doing we are not doing any computation let's give some title demonstration of slider input widget in shiny and let's go ahead and save them ui dot r and this one as server dot r okay let's run them click on run app okay we can see that okay we there are no errors good now let's start with putting in the um the slider input so the way we do uh, we we put it put it is um we use slider input and so so let me tell you what i did i i, I typed slider or or even slide whatever you want and then press on tab key and it will autofill for you and and pop this um uh, window and so we can see various arguments available we are not going to use all of them um in this video but you can you can refer to the uh, help document and and go through it to understand the details of it but for now we are going to use the input id label minimum maximum value step and maybe animate um, arguments so let's start with the id and i will just say so slide and basically whatever user is selecting will get stored in in slide or we can say that we can reference to that input using slide and we can pass that um, the in the ID to the server for computation if needed and we want to put a message select the value from slider let's give the minimum value as 0 I want the slider to have values between 0 and 5 maximum value as five and the default value where the pointer should default or or um, appear initially i want it to be at two and that's it um, let's just run it okay so we see that we have the slider we have the minimum value as 0 the maximum value as 5 and the default when the user will see it for the first time the pointer will be at 2 and and we can move it right or left or wherever we want now what we want to also do is whatever is the selection we want to print it in the main panel so let's go ahead and program that and the idea would be to capture the input um, um, whatever user is selecting using this slider and pass that to the server side script or basically the code we have in the server.r file and assign it to the output and use that output back in the main panel and printer okay so let's go to the server.r and we will name the output variable as say out just out and we will render using render text and again um, as I said whenever you you want to use any function you type a part of it and press the tab key and it will pop up this small window and you can select whatever you want I want the uh, render text and it displays basically um, about the uh, render text what it does and the various arguments inside it and I'm sorry render text and in this I want to use the input and the input name was I guess slider right sorry it was slide so what I'm doing here is I'm 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 using the input and I'm accessing it using input dollar slide. Slide is basically the name of the slider. 
and I am assigning it to an output variable called out and this function the server dot r function will actually return this out or pass on this output to ui dot r and we can use that in the main panel and we can put uh, use it using text output and the name of the variable output variable out okay so let's go ahead and run it hopefully we should not have any errors okay perfect no errors so right now if you see by default the the default value is 2 that is where the slider sl the slider pointer is uh, resting and I change it to 3 and you can see dynamically um, the value is changing to 3 basically this uh, um, real-time change in value or dynamic um, uh, value uh, change in printing is something called reactive feature within shiny and and we achieve that using render function which we use like render text and we have other kinds of render function we'll see later on let's go ahead and put uh, print some text here so that it makes some more sense so let's go to server.r and maybe in the render text we can say paste and put command you selected the value as okay and so basically what it would do is it would print this statement you selected the value uh, as is not making sense you selected the value and then followed by whatever value it, it is let's go ahead and run it okay so we can see it says you selected the value 2 so it's it's the first time it the page loads the default value is 2 that's what we define and we can see now it prints 3 prints 4 5 or whatever it is okay so let's go ahead and modify this um, slider and try to use some other arguments and what I would like to have now is an example of uh, range uh, so we 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 want to um, use the slider input to select the range versus just a particular um, numerical value the, the way we do is um, in the value we use a C function or basically we we are defining the range here so we can say 2 to 3 Okay, let's go ahead and run the app and we see that the default um, well the, the the default value of the slider is basically a range um, and the reason is because we have defined it as a range earlier it was just two and now I said uh, C function two three two comma three so it basically is a range and now if you see in, in the main um, main uh, panel it says that okay you selected 2 and, and also you selected 3 and if I change suppose this pointer and move it further the the second value changes but the first value remains the same I can change the first value uh, by moving it left so basically I'm selecting a range it's uh, basically this statement doesn't hold good here um, because it, it it was specific to that it was specific to what we did the first time and that's why it's printing um, it would make more sense if we say that okay this this is the range uh, so if uh, good thing is we can see what is the selection here and based on this we can see that the selection is one to two, one to four let's get back and uh, use uh, animate and let's go back and go back to our original cell, um, settings value is equal to 2 and now I'm going to also introduce another argument animate equals true you can, you can either type t or you can 
type true both holds good let's go ahead and see what happens okay so here we have a little arrow it's like a player kind of thing and if I click on this it will animate it basically it, it is like program recorded predefined whatever uh, uh, you want to say or understand um, but basically what what it is doing is it has animated it has uh, set it um, in such a way that user need not to move the slider it would move on its own so let's see its effect so you see the the slider is moving as well as its values changing here on its own the the user is just clicking on the uh, play button okay now let's uh, do let's use one more argument and that's called step so say for example my my um, initial uh, the minimum value is 0 maximum is 5 and i want the slider to have a um, interval of say step value of 0 0.2 okay let's see what happens so what what happens is what happened is with the step the the tick marks are actually um, um, 0 0.2 interval so if we see it starts at 0 the next tick mark is 0 0.2 0 0.4 and so on and still we re we have retained the reactive feature so whatever is the selection the selection um, is printed here um, whenever the user input is changing but the basic idea about step is you can define the um, the interval size so in this case it is 0 0.2 okay I hope this video was useful please uh, go through the example and also uh, you may want to check the the help file slide import and it should show you the help document and you can see uh, you can go through this and try and experiment okay thanks